Hey there, everyone. This is Pedro Tales. I turned Buzz around while the episode wasn't going. Hold on. The thing I should have done, though, was take a drink. All right. Ugh. Ah! He's so astounded. Fuck off, Zergbot! I think there might be a guy in Zerg army battle armor, but I don't know. And if it is... That should have been a real toy. Like, I know that there, that Buzz Lightyear Star Command was a real thing. I don't know how many of these characters were in Buzz Lightyear Star Command. Fuck off! I don't know how many of those people were in that. How many of these robots were in Buzz Lightyear Star Command? The animated series? With the robot dude, and the freaking fat chunky man guy, the red dude, and uh, the alien blue skin girl. I'm sorry, um, Tally before Mass Effect. That better? I never played Mass Effect. I just, I just know she's blue. <laughs> Maybe. I think. I don't know, Avatar? See an Avatar! Are you an avatar? I can't bend anything. Well, I mean, I can bend the fucking stuff. Okay, whatever. Zipline race! Red lines mark where you want to jump. I learned that the hard way. Look at that laser gawk! Look at that laser gawk. Nickelodeon sure is stepping up their game. Laser gack. It cleans itself, kids. You should like it because it's more environmentally friendly. And by that I mean your parents won't get pissed off if you get it on the rug. Because it's just a light. <laughs> Laser gack. <gasps> nope. So yeah, this is the mothership that I always thought had little kitty ears. Missing aliens. Um, oh, no. Would you fuck off? Okay, um, yeah. Everything in this level, considering the fact that it uses stuff I've already unlocked, everything is self-contained in this level. But it is a bit of a bitch to get everything. This, this level sort of shows you... The kind of ass, the kind of fucking asinine bullshit you're gonna have to deal with for the rest of the game. Well, at least certain parts of it. So you gotta race the zipline man again because you didn't win the first time. Woohoo! The camera is fucking. Can you stop? Can you can you fucking stop? Great. I did it again, same place. That can't be me, right? That can't be me. I hit it that time. It even stopped and he didn't grab. It stopped him where he was going. So I I obviously hit the rope. No, no, no. Okay. No. Excuse me. I'm trying to be polite when I burp. Alright. Alright. So that works. That time it worked. Go, 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 go. One more. Fuck! <sighs> Bye bye. I gotta do it again. Probably gonna fast forward this, but I don't know. Maybe. You know, yeah, I'm I'm gonna fast forward this. I wasn't fast forwarding the other stuff because I was saying things, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get through this.
If I, if I fuck it up one more time, I'm just gonna skip to me winning. Alright, let's go. Come on! Oh, great! No, I mean, I per- Fucking- Totally didn't want to win. What are you talking about? Come on! I lost. I lost because he's a douche. <sighs> Got the alien though. That's the important thing. At least I was able to finish it this time. There. I fucking did it. Hooray. I won. Keep on playing. I still have a few more things to do. So... I still have almost all the things to do. That was one thing out of five. I can succeed the next one by pushing this box over. So I know where the last aliens are. Yeah, I already know where this stuff is. One of the aliens is up here. Don't you fucking even! Go away, Birdman! Nobody likes you because you are a bird and you s stupid. Stop being a stupid. Then more people would like you. Hell, people even people even like birds. So you have that going for you. All right. All right. Return to your ship immediately. Repeat the Buzz Lightyear buggy boss to get a Pizza Planet token. Nope. So this is how you beat the boss. You spin him. Spin to win. Kick his ass with your wings and pop his tires. Spin to win. Deflect your shots. And then you kick his ass and he wins. I mean you win. He loses. Cause he sucks. All right. Keep on playing. One of them is in a claw machine. Which I'm getting... <laughs> Thankfully, though, you get to take Sid's position from the first game and be outside of the claw instead of being a dumbass inside of the claw. Something tells me Traveler's Tales wanted this to be like a throwback to the, to the previous game. Hm, get up there! Oh, wait, that's right. You gotta, gotta jump on a fucking cup. Again. Get up there! Alright. <sighs> Fuck! <clears throat> I hope I'm making it look easy and that I look pretty good. But you know what? Say I look bad! Come up with it with hilarious ways that I am bad at this game. I'm talking my dad works at Nintendo levels of stuff. Now it was tipping, but then it just sort of slid off. Anyway, this is how you get up on here. And there's 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 Rex. Rex is my mother's favorite character. I don't know why. Alright, so the point of this is Okay, so you wanna line up the shadow like that. And then line up the shadow like this. Almost dead center. So that it picks it up and puts it in the thing. Here it comes. Watch out! Keep on playing. There are two more things that I can get. Shut up! I already know! Alright. I think... For most people, it's Navi. For me, it's Rex. Rex is my annoying fucking voice that shouts at you every five seconds. Not like Navi. I like Navi. She is helpful. I don't know what people's problem is with Navi. I found her helpful, informative, 
and it's just sort of nice to be around. Which is why I got pissed off at the end of Ocarina of Time. You know what? Fuck it. I... Spoilers alert! Uh, at the end of Ocarina of Time, Navi leaves. Now I know a lot of you aren't heartbroken to hear that. A lot of you would probably be like, ha ha, it serves her right, she's annoying. But I actually like Navi! And it was Link, and she was Link's first friend in a whole wide world. And then, more spoiler alert, Princess Zelda sends you back in time because not, so none of it ever happened. Now, people get pissed off at Mario 2 as they should, with the ending being that it's all a dream. I just spoiler everything. I'm just spoiling everything, aren't I? For people that don't know about these things. But yeah. At the end of Ocarina of Time, you go back in time. None of it ever happened and it probably never will. So then you might as well have been dreaming the entire time. And then Mario 2, Mario wakes up and it's literally a dream. What? It, 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 <laughs> I get the feeling that all they really were trying to accomplish with that is saying, okay, <laughs> I think what they were trying to get at is, we want to leave it open so that you can do something like this in the future infinitely, and we never have to come up with another original plotline for Legend of Zelda again. I mean, they came up with an original plotline for Zelda again. So I don't know what the fuck. Like... What the fuck, man? Like, Ocarina of Time is critically acclaimed. Yeah, sure, it's fine, unless you get a fucking glitch that makes it so that you don't trigger the fucking Kakariko Village burning scene. And then that's out the fucking window, and that pissed me off. I had to go there three fucking times before it would activate for me. I even looked up a walkthrough and I went there while using the walkthrough and it didn't work until I went there the third time and it magically worked. I didn't go anywhere else, I just left and came back in. I went all, actually I went all the way around. I didn't do anything of importance except get some heart pieces, but that's about it. Unless it's, unless it's tethered to your heart piece count, which it shouldn't be, which is ridiculous. It shouldn't be tethered to how many heart pieces you have. Because what if you don't find enough? Okay. Yeah, that ending pissed me off. I'm done talking about Legend of Zelda. I'm not gonna play it, by the way. I'm not gonna play Ocarina of Time. Because I played through it once and I don't wanna play it again. Oh boy, look at this fucking landscape. Oh man, it's so great. Oh no, look at that. But listen to this song. Here we go. And it's coming for me. Welcome to the gauntlet. Do you like waves of enemies? You do. Good job. Good for you. Here's the waves of enemies. And it does incorporate the car enemies. And yes, they do move much faster than, uh, than you start moving. Is this one of them? Nope, it's a bird. I mean, it's nothing too hard if you know how it works. And this song is bit is kicking. Bum bum bum. Okay, so we got a jumpy dude in a car. Oh no, a jumpy dude in a flying dude. I never got to watch much of the animated series of Buzz Lightyear. Can somebody tell me if this, if those freaking robots are accurate to the show? This one's a car. See, he's almost at you by the time you start, and so you have no time to stop him. Well, there's that and the fact that... Get him, 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 get him. All right. Don't you shoot your lasers at me. Oh, jeez. All right. Bum, bum. Here we go. And Running Man, too. Mr. Running Steel Man, he's right next to me. 
So I immediately lose health. All right. Get off of me! Do 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 do. Another shield man in a car. Oh no, it's a bird. Damn it! Come on! Oh, great. And he's gone! <laughs> Dead! And away! <laughs> Boss defeated. It's always the freaking new box buzz. Every time. The picture doesn't change when you beat a boss. They had limited assets. Limited resources at their disposal. You think, gonna, you think they're gonna add another picture just to make it more varied? No, they only need one. Alright, this is the stage where we get the grapple hook. And after this, I'm going back to alley and go alleys and gullies and help the mother duck with her get her duckies babies. Now, what Oh boy, hold on. And we're back. Okay. Trucks like to interrupt everything. But um yeah, they 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 cleverly omit, and by that I mean uh. hide spoilers, that that's not the bu Andy's Buzz Lightyear doll. Buzz Lightyear to start I guess to make up for the ones that had more scenes than the others, they had to uh I only have one here, huh? Alright. So then, this... You get it from this guy. He's like, Give me my soup, please! Because this level is literally impossible unless you have the grapple hook. I think. It might be able to be done, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty... I'm fairly certain this is a pretty solid game. Okay. Needing to uh, do things in other levels first. So, you go. Ah, no! Yeah, there you go. That's quick reflexes. And the shoe should be right there. Along with one of the collectibles in this level. So, I gotta get Potato. I gotta give Potato Head his shoe back. To get the grapple hook, I know what you fucking want. Don't you even have to tell me. I only have nine coins. All right, calm down, Ham. I haven't even gotten into the into the meat of the freaking level yet. Stuff like this is the kind of things that I think would be really cool in Minecraft. You could get because grappling hooks could be ender ender pearls. And then you have five of them, like... No, wait, how do you... How do you... Oh, wait, tell me. Using the Z button, alright. Yeah, I understand, shut up! Alright. Alright. Wait. Oh, right, okay. So you need to walk on first. Alright. Now the little wind-up mice weren't in the movie and I think it would have been adorable additions. As well as, a I think another cool addition might have, could have been like, Al's security. Robots or security snakes, as it might be. Whatever. All right. All right. You get. All right. There's a there's a mouse up there, right here. I mean. 
Listen to this. You can activate the elevator. Yeah, whatever. You like the ladder, whatever. All right, go. Oh shit. Um, I went over again. Oops. Yeah, that's it for today. So if you like it, be sure to put a like on it. You got something to say? Then go ahead and leave a comment. I love talking to you people, guys. You people, guys. And girls, I won't judge. I'm looking at Sonata's face. Dot PNG. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, if you like it, be sure to put a like on it. Uh, I guess I'm going to say leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I've been Pedro Tales. There's two wind up mice. They're adorable. And it's a Toy Story 2. I'll see you tomorrow for more of this. Goodbye.